all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel we're talking about the tennessee titans in tonight's video um folks will levis just keeps getting flamed on anytime i make a titans video it's crazy i think the tennessee titans completely revamped their entire franchise outlook for the next decade plus and i don't necessarily mean that i think will levis is you know going to go down as one of the all-time greats the point is they finally got up with the times here i loved absolutely loved Vrabel, loved derrick henry but you need offense. You just need offense. And whether or not Will Levis is the franchise QB, we're about to figure that out. And we're going to figure that out probably by the time halfway through the season, probably by Thanksgiving. But folks, Will Levis gets ragged on so unbelievably much. And I get it. DeAndre Hopkins is going to be banged up, probably should be ready to go for the regular season. This injury happened about an hour or two ago. They picked up a couple of studs in Calvin Ridley, Tyler Boyd, Tony Pollard. Um, you've got one of the you've got a really intriguing offensive line as far as the left side's concerned. Uh, we'll talk about that right side a little bit later on in the video, but I was I was watching the herd today. And they were doing like NFL futures for this upcoming season. As we know, the Tennessee Titans, uh, their win loss projection from Vegas is under six and a half. I think that is absolutely ridiculous. And I actually want to go back to a couple of games. First off, Miami Dolphins. Miami Dolphins, Will Levis, um, Will Levis's debut. There are a multitude of different games where I can go back and watch the film and I can watch Will Levis play football in win or lose. I don't look zero touchdowns, two interceptions, zero touchdowns, zero picks. I don't care. The film speaks for itself. I think Will Levis is going to at least bring the Titans to some type of competitive year this upcoming season, whether it's eight wins, whether it's nine wins, that remains to be seen. But we're going to talk about the Tennessee Titans in today's video. But before we do, if you guys enjoy it, hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily NFL content. It's been way too long since our last Titans video, but folks, I want to go back to a game. I think it was week nine. This was Will Levis, I believe, second NFL start on the road against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, one knock on Will Levis are his statistics, okay? And keep in mind, the Tennessee Titans gave up 64 sacks last year, but Will Levis, eight touchdowns, four interceptions, a um, little bit over 200 yards per game thrown the football, 200.9 to be specific. Uh, but then you had the completion percentage of 58.4%. So not great. The stats aren't you know crazy. That Pittsburgh Steelers game, if you're a Titans fan, you're, you're watching this video and you watch that game, you know what I'm talking about. This is the second ever start. 22-39, 262 yards, zero touchdowns, and one pick. He had a quarter, QBR of 33.5, and he had a quarterback rating of 66.4. But when you watch a game like that, you at least are hopeful and optimistic about the future of Will Levis because, once again, this was his second career start. Now, I know Tennessee had DeAndre Hopkins last season, but... Uh, I mean, outside of that, I'm sorry to rag on the Titans offense last year, but I mean, folks, there just really isn't too much there. Um, I mean, I like Westbrook Akine a lot. I like Traylon Burks. We're going to talk about him in just a second here. Uh, you know, Kyle Phillips, Conquo, Chris Moore, it, it's it's all right, right? It's, it's just all right. So that's why you picked up Calvin Ridley. That's why DeAndre Hopkins is still on the team. That's why you picked up veteran wide receiver Tyler Boyd. That's why you picked up Tony Pollard. Times are changing. And you need offensive weapons for a rookie quarterback entering his sophomore campaign. And that's exactly what happened. Now, I saw this really, the re, one of the reasons I'm making this video here is because, oh, first off, they had on the herd, they had Tennessee under six and a half wins for this season. I disagree. The defense is still really solid. Um, but once again, I was reading this article that said they were doing like um, they were trying to predict headliners for this upcoming season. I think it was a Bleacher Report article. And the headliner was Will Levis has Carson Wentz-esque second season. So obviously, like we said at the beginning of this video, the Tennessee Titans expectations are quite low. You have a brand new head coach. You have a you know quarterback who started half of the season, dealt with injuries. You got a brand new offense, brand new scheme. Uh, so DraftKings Sportsbooks has the line for Tennessee this upcoming season at six and a half to six and a half wins under, or sorry, just six and a half wins. A lot of people think it's going to be under, and their odds of winning the AFC South are at plus one thousand. That's you know, <laughs> by far the worst in the division. Now, once again, I'm not saying you're going to go out here and win the AFC South, uh, but 25 years old, he showed me plenty, and pl showed me plenty. 
eight touchdowns, nine games. I get it. The stats aren't great. Just a little bit over 200 yards per game. Um, but as the article alluded to, that was very similar to Carson Wentz's debut. I uh, 16 touchdowns, 16 games played, 234 passing yards. But then if you remember that next season, um, Carson Wentz probably would have won the MVP if he didn't get injured in the final month of the season. So Tennessee brings in an offensive genius from Cincinnati, right? Callahan. And they bring in Calvin Ridley, who had a really solid season over in Jacksonville. And this was really important because there were a lot of question marks surrounding Calvin Ridley's future in the National Football League because of the suspension. He missed the entire 2022 year. He got injured in 2021 and he bounced back last season, although he did see 136 total targets and only 76 catches, still over a thousand yards, 13 and a half yards per catch, eight total touchdowns. So that it's just good because once again, you know, if we throw back the clock one year ago when Calvin Ridley was a member of Jacksonville, think to ourselves, I mean, geez, man, if he didn't get down with an injury, if he wasn't suspended for the whole 2023 season, Calvin Ridley was quickly ascending with Julio Jones as one of the best wide receivers in the NFL. 2020 with Atlanta, 15 games played, 90 catches, 1,400 yards, nine touchdowns, averaged 15, 15, over 15 yards per catch. Um, I think he made the All-Pro second team. And so it's just good that Calvin Ridley is, you know, like still a version of Calvin Ridley. And I think this upcoming season, uh, there's a very bright future for him in Tennessee. But the reason I want to talk about Traylon Burks is because DeAndre Hopkins is banged up. And, you know, he's the 18th overall pick from 2022. But he's just dealt with so many injuries in his NFL career. So I'm glad they brought in Kelvin and I'm glad they brought in Tyler. But the point still stands. Wide receivers are going to get banged up all the freaking time. They're going to get banged up all the time. And turf toe, a sprained LCL. So Traylon's only got 49 catches in the last two seasons. But if you remember what he did in his final year at Arkansas, 66 catches, 1,100 yards, 11 touchdowns, averaged 17 yards per catch. There's a reason he was drafted in the mid-late first round of the 2022 NFL Draft. And I think what we're hearing from your GM, what we're hearing from Brian Callahan, you know, he's going to be all over the field. This is a quote from Brian Callahan. He's going to play everything. He's going to play inside. He's going to play outside. He's going to carve out a role for himself. I'm very big on a Traylon Burke season. And I am glad that you guys did not trade him. I know I, every every article I saw all summer was trade. Tra the, the Titans should trade Burks to Washington. I'm glad you guys didn't do it, all right? Because there's something there. If he can stay healthy, even with DeAndre Hopkins, even with Calvin Ridley, even with Tyler Boyd, Tony Pollard, Tajay Spears, Traylon Burks' future this is a huge freaking season. So unfortunately, we kind of ran out of time here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily NFL content. Uh, give me a win predict projection prediction for Tennessee down below. I'm going to go. It should be eight, hopefully, um, maybe nine if Will Levis is really that good. Or actually, if Will Levis is really that good, it'll probably be 10. Point is, let me know down below. Thank you for watching. Hit that like button. Hit that sub button. We'll see you soon.